Wednesday and Thursday, May 9th and 10th, the sun is in Taurus and the moon is in Pisces. Earth and water, calm. You know, some people watch my videos and they say, she doesn't really like earth and water. I love earth and water. I love this combination of Taurus and Pisces. On the 10th, it's two men's birthday that really deserve some acknowledgement. One is Wayne Dyer and one is Fred Astaire. Think about the similarity. So smooth. The quality of Taurus and Pisces, and by the way, the moon is next to Neptune. So if you were born with sun and Taurus, a baby were born with the moon and Neptune, it would be so calm and so precious. At their best, they're musicians. This is a classical case of a musician. Welcome to Fred Astaire, watching him singing in the rain. Welcome to Wayne Dyer, who tells stories. Hay House is one of my favorite spots. I don't know if you know that every full moon, I do a radio show on Hay House. And I think about Wayne Dyer or Louise Hayes, both who are on the other side. They've given us so much calm. All you gotta do is hear Louise Hayes' voice. Or Wayne Dyer was so filled with wisdom. This is the nature of Taurus Pisces. Taurus was a Buddha. No, Buddha was a Taurus. <laughs> I love saying that. You know, when you're Taurus, you're allowed to make little glitches and make little boo-boos. You know why? Because Tauruses get self-conscious and I'm role modeling. It doesn't matter. Buddha, Taurus, Taurus, Buddha. The point is, he was this being, Taurus was a being, Buddha, love this conversation, that was super <clears throat> throat, Taurus, I'm with you, stay with me super calm. And no matter what the static is, and Moon and Pisces create static. You get very sensitive. You get self-conscious. This is what anxiety is, Moon and Pisces. But the Taurus Buddha energy is, what matters more than this? What matters more than coming back to center? Not the way you look, not how much money you're making, not who you're sleeping with, not the job you're doing, but your internal anchor, said the Taurus, to fall into a calm state. That's what all meditation is. With this wonderful soft moon in Pisces to give you the blessing of the wisdom that says you're all here for a reason. No one got pushed on the bus. You're not a mistake. And whether or not your mom loved you or you love your mom or however the story went of your childhood, I don't care. Because when you're a Taurus Buddha energy and you're sitting in simplicity, your calm, your faith, your trust is what matters the most. And you know, you can go to my website, Deborah Silverman Astrology, and there's a free under products, a free meditation that just gives you a five minute access to learning how to use that moon in Pisces, dropping your grounding cord solidly in your seat, turning off the noises, a Taurus Pisces. You know why they play music all the time, this energy? Because that's where you find peace. So put some music on. Enjoy. Wednesday and Thursday, and see what level of faith and calm. And if you need some wisdom, Wayne Dyer, or you want to smile, Fred Astaire, it's their birthday. Astrology Answer said, Deb, show them how it is to just be simple in the Buddha energy and not be so distracted by all the, yeah, you know. <laughs>